grove of the old trees. It is the grove of the old trees. A prescribed burn occurred here recently as part of the active land stewardship. Prescribed burning is one of the best tools to reduce wildfire risk and support the resilience of the California California's ecosystem that depends on regular cycle of fire to survive. Certainly a beautiful forest, no doubt. Yeah, they use wood branches to designate the path. It's like your own private redwood forest. Area closed for restoration. Uh-oh, a fork in the road. <laughs> oh no, what are we gonna do? Ann's Circle? I guess we'll follow the arrow and check out Ann's Circle. Man, too bad this camera doesn't have smell-o-vision. Yeah. The air smells so fresh and clean. Aha! Oh, that's cool. What a place to have lunch. And look at the uh, fort someone made. out of all these branches. A little teepee fort here. So peaceful out here. Huh, I'm not sure what that is though. Like it's part of a water system or something. These are some pretty impressive trees. Yeah, insane. This one up here, I don't know if you can see, but way up top, what what looks like a branch is actually actually another Look, like full even, size trees. There's even plants growing. Yeah. On the. That's crazy. Oh wow, that's so I cool. don't think I've ever seen anything like that. That's really like, what cool. caused that to happen? Oh, Maybe up. a lightning strike, uh, you know, 200 years ago? Yeah, they all have canopies. All the trunks have different canopies. Oh, no. And they're like overlapping. Yeah, oh, that, one, that one's amazing though. Oh God, Dad, come here. This tree's got to be... Close to a thousand years old too. There's three. One, two, three. Wow. The third one's bigger and it's it's gotten the third one's so big that it's like another whole canopy. That's crazy. And all look at how all the branches curve. Yeah. And they all curve the same direction. They make like a spiral. It's bizarre how it's not like a branch. It's like a full tree. Yeah, that's really, really cool. I'd love to climb that. <laughs> yeah. This is a That's so cool. pretty special forest. It's one of the coolest redwoods I've seen. Yeah. Jean M. and Kenneth S. Pitzer, beloved parents and grandparents, the sun shines not on us, but in us. Sean Muir. I like that. Yeah, I like that quote a lot. I like how little human construction there is here. There's like next to nothing that's made by people. It's all branches and yeah. it feels a lot more natural because of it. Yeah, even the, the trail trail is broken branches. So this I think <coughs> is 
some of the recent burn activity, possibly. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah. Redwood blocks. Yeah, it's really quite nice. They made like a window. Yeah. Yeah, this is like the total. Oh, they made a crib. MTV Cribs, where are you at? <laughs> Look at that. That's, That's pretty... fire. Yeah. They even have a window. Nice. Let's go check it out. That's really cool. That's really, really cool. Yeah, I wonder if it's um... yeah, they have a window. A little view. Burnt walls. Yeah. See the size of this oh. cave? It's not wild. Wow, it's got like moss growing on it. Yeah. Look at that tree though, amazing. So huge. I mean compared to this I don't know how circumference wise or just width wise it's You hear something? There's something living in there. Listen. Those are bats. Yeah, they're bats. There's bats living in the tree. Don't go in there. Very cool. Wow, this is a this is a special tree, man. This thing's huge. <laughs> it's probably close to two thousand years old. This tree. The moss. And the bat. Wow, look at this one. That is so big, the opening. Wow. It's dripping. Look. Yeah. It's dripping. Woo! Woo! Something's dripping. See? Yeah. What is that? I don't know. Another grove. They're all over. This is a true family here. Look at that little little sitting area there. Oh, this is cool. This is an awesome stick. Yes. Wow. A family, a true family. It's pretty cool how they grow in this big burrow here. Nice, that was on film. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan's, Ryan's pig edition. <laughs> hey, bro, I'm drinking sparkling water. <laughs> I apologize. <sighs> It doesn't bother me. It might bother the camera. Mm -hmm. and I'm sure. Yeah. I'm sure people watching this can handle a burp. Yeah, hold on. This thing looks like a banana slug, but it's a root. Look at this. Look at the throne room. No, I saw that one coming in. Look at the throne room in here. Yeah. So we're in a private grove and the sign says it's okay to visit the Buddha. So we're visiting the Buddha. Wow. 
There's lots of offerings too. Wow. Oh my god. There's total offerings here. This is there's a someone's ID. This is a sacred place. Dude, there's someone's ID. Yeah, see it. Money. People leave money to receive money. Dude, there's like some foreign currency. Pesos. 200 pesos. Coconut. It's carved out of the redwood, I guess. There's keys here, candles, there's a big lighter, lots of dollar bills. Wait, the lid's the lighter? Where? <laughs> Where? I need to see if it's like there's fuel. a tool stone. Yeah. If you're inoculum. So we're looking at all the artifacts here among the Buddha. And Ryan discovered a painted egg as a hitchhiking thumb. There's some fool's gold. There's someone's custom clay sculpture. Custom clay sculpture. A piece of leather work. And then over here, there's more tokens. Lavender scented candles. More money. So in the interest of the money, Buddha, I am going to leave a dollar. And over on this stone here, there's coins from all over. Oh, they're, well, mostly they're quarters, but they're, they got states, different states on the back. So I thought they were foreign coins for a minute. Very cool. The head is made out of uh, tin, looks like. And opposite of the Buddha is this fountain at the base of this amazing tree. Look at this tree, Ryan. The branches and everything. Yeah. It's got another one of those. It's got wow. two of those splintering trunks. Yeah. These trees are pretty amazing. More amazing trees, majestic trees. Did a full loop of the path. I think the one I was talking about is this one up on the left. Holy yeah. This one on the left here is like two trees molded into one. I mean, look at that thing. What is the deal with that? The tree's out of control. Wow. This is crazy. It's so massive. Look at the size of that tree. That's bigger than any tree in Armstrong. Yeah. That thing's huge. God. Yeah. This is on the road leading up to the forest. Yeah, and that, that's a wow. And even that, like just that that little arm shooting off of it. Yeah. It's probably like 500. Dude, look, the little arm has two separate trunks. Wow. What the fuck? That's crazy. That's absolutely crazy. Look at the side. I mean, it's. 
I don't know if the video is showing you the massive size of this. Here, stand over, stand there, Ryan, actually. You guys can get an idea of how big this thing is. Massive. It's huge. Wow. I can't even guess how old that one is. 2,500 years old, maybe? Yeah. Wow. That's unbelievable. That tree's extremely impressive. See how how tall it is. Can't even begin to tell. <laughs> no. Still can't see the top. Still no. No. Still no. And it's going, and it's going, and it's going. <laughs> that is probably the biggest tree I've ever seen. Crazy. Thanks for coming along with us Thank to you. the, what is it, the Grove of the Old Trees, right? Mm -hmm. I believe so. The Grove yeah. of the Old Trees. And that last tree had to be the biggest tree I've ever seen in my yeah, life. Yeah, that was crazy. Massive. That was a whole ecosystem with yeah. one tree. This is a special place. Clearly. And not a lot of people know about it. It's in Sonoma County. I will definitely be coming back in the future. So um, thanks for coming along and checking it out today. Appreciate it. And we'll see you next time. Have a good one. Peace. <clears throat>